I cut these dead uh, leaves off of these uh, tomato plants, and they have grown three times more now. Yes, they have. In two weeks. The tomatoes are just hanging everywhere. Here's our watermelon vines. This is our late crop of tomato plants, and they were producing too. Cusho, 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 our baby watermelon. Ain't he cute? We got a uh, Roman tomato still hanging. Even though the deer ate about 50 of them in the middle of the night. And ever since the deers ate them, they've looked bad. But they still produce. That's all that matters. When you garden it, it's a hit or a miss. That's all it is. You might have a good crop and you might not. And it takes a lot of hard work. Roman tomatoes. We have 14 vines we did of Roman tomatoes. But like I said, when the deer uh, ate off of them, they've been poorly looking ever since. Baby cantaloupe. These flowers is like a miniature sunflower. And they're pretty. Cantaloupe. See how pretty? Ain't it pretty? My mother day roses. Our green beans are still flowering and still trying to produce. We've got three big pickings off of them so far, two and a half gallons at a time. And they're going up the steps. See, they're just a hanging. Let me see if I can get some of this out of your way we can see. See, they're just a hanging. Now the green beans looking down the fence line is like this, all the way up to the porch. Remember this garden bed that Ronnie made for me, the size T? Well, we only got one part of it filled so far, and it cost us $63 in the dirt, for the dirt. And here's what that one side of the bed looks like so far. Here's our strawberry bed. Now, we started this off with one plant, and then we let, the, let it have babies, and then we bought two more plants, and this is from three plants. That's how much we got. Yes. Ain't that a lot? If you just work with them, you'll get it. Pink miniature rose. Here's the green bed. 
That's mustard and kale and peppers and tomatoes. Here's what our garden looks like right now. All peppers, tomatoes just a hanging, more uh, pumpkins and cucumbers and you name it. They're still trying to produce and potatoes after the deer ate all the heads off of the potatoes. They are trying to come back now. Even though we got that noisy maker in the uh, garden that sounds like a shotgun, someone sent me on, uh, it, uh, works, but only on one side. They find out they can get on another side, and then they, they still pick your tomatoes clean, or cabbage clean, or anything clean that they can get a hold of. Deers destroy your whole garden, believe me. If you see a deer around your property, you need to try to get rid of it. They're, they're worthless. Look at this baby watermelon. Ain't that cute? Here's another watermelon. On that same vine with that little bitty in. Look at the tomatoes just falling off and on the ground and they're everywhere. They're just loaded. Ronnie done good this year, didn't he? That was a butternut squash I just showed you that little baby is. Here's our butternut squash. Don't that look cute? Be good eating. More yellow neck squash. I got that rotten one off of there. Look at that butternut squash. Ain't that cute? We got one right there, too. If you can barely see it, see it. See there? See, I got you a closer look now. See things like that just hanging up here. Tomatoes, big ones. I'm sorry for the noise, but... There's more tomatoes just to hanging in this garden. I mean, we bait up with them this year. Tomatoes. We really had a good crop this year. And my husband sure put out the produce this year. Sorry about the noise, though. The rains knocked our uh, sunflower heads over. We got all kinds of peppers. And now uh, here's them uh, tomato plants, I mean, uh, potato plants trying to come back. I don't know if we're going to have more than five pounds of tomato uh, potatoes this year or not. Look at our big sunflower on the ground. Yeah. The rain knocked them down. We get bad winds here, too. We're right up on top of this hill. That's more of the garden bed with the peppers. Here's watermelon and vines. They've got blooms on them, but I don't know if it'll have time to produce anything or not. Here's the five pounds of potatoes I told you we already dug. But I was walking and doing the garden tour, and uh, this was laying in our yard. It rolled off the hill from the garden. We still got these to deal with. Still got these to deal with. Here's my deal I started two weeks ago.
Here's Deal. Oregano. Lemon tree. Lemon tree. Basil. Pineapple. Cilantro. And, and um, some kind of green. Oregano. Deal. I've already cut this four or five times already. I'm going to have to cut it again. Lemon tree. Tom this little pot right here produces tomatoes. It's got two hanging right now on it. And a bunch up here in the corner. See them? Where my finger is? Yeah, up in that corner. Chives. Aloe. Oregano. I've already cut this three times already. Lemon tree. Lemon tree. These tomato plants sitting in these little cups, they produce tomatoes too. And they just sitting in the uh, 20 ounce cup. And they, uh, they just get watered and they produce anyway. Look at them. Anthems. A L T H E A. That's the big flowers they put on them. Ain't that pretty?